inside And the night is cold Everyone's lighting candles in their homes Yes, it's Christmas It's a magic time You can feel it in the air That every child got their hearts filled up with joy Yes, it's Christmas all around All snow is falling down, all the colored lights lighting up this town And as I walk outside the Christmas choir sing Merry Christmas to you This time of year Is a time to cheer Let our loved ones Our family and friends Have a Christmas So much love And with joy and laughter Let us make, Let us make Memories that stay Forever It's Christmas Today All snow is falling down All the colored lights this town And as I walk outside Hear the Christmas choir sing Merry Christmas to you It has been a busy morning over here in the Maldonado house. I got up super early this morning. I'm trying this new thing where I get up before the kids. Um, so far, it's going good. It's definitely adjustment, but it's been nice just having a little bit of time to myself before they wake up. So I decided to cook breakfast this morning. We've had the ingredients in the fridge for a while to make the breakfast casserole that I made this morning. It is delicious. It's so easy to make. And it's really nice to have when David works a stretch of nights because it's like a super filling breakfast that you can just heat up, reheat in the morning. So he'll come home from work, reheat that, eat it, and get nice and filled up, and then go lay down for bed. So I wanted to get that in the fridge because he starts another stretch tonight. So I did that. I also decided to make Emmett some bacon because he loves bacon, um, and cooked Collie up some sausage. So it's been a busy morning, um, but that breakfast casserole I wanted to share with you guys too because it is a great staple for the holiday season. If you have family coming to stay with you um, and you need a quick and easy breakfast that can serve a lot of people or something to just keep in the fridge and heat up in the morning um, for your guests, that is a awesome little staple to have. So I wanted to show you guys how to make that and I did it using my Caraway cookware. Today's video is sponsored by Caraway, so a huge thanks to them for sponsoring today's video. If you've been around for a while, you you know that I absolutely love my Caraway cookware. I've been using it for well over a year now, and I use a piece from the collection every single day. I've had no issues with it. It truly is amazing cookware. When we moved out of our last house and we had that small little um, 
in-between phase of living with my mother-in-law until we moved into this house. I took my caraway cookware with me. I was like, I am so sorry, Joanne, but I have to bring my cookware with me. And she actually packed hers up and put it in storage and we only used my caraway. Um, so it's been amazing cookware. It's been in three different houses now. We have gas stove tops in all of the houses and it's just honestly one of my favorite things that I own. With the holiday season coming up, I wanted to share it because it is an amazing gift to give to a loved one or even if you need something to put on your list, this is definitely something that I think everyone could use and especially us moms would love because when cooking's not fun, at least if your cookware is um, aesthetically pleasing and you love it, it makes you want to cook more. So. I wanted to share the um, cookware set with you guys. They are running an awesome sale right now. If you use my link in the description box, you can get 20% off your purchase. And that is just the link. There's no discount codes. Um, it will be applied to your cart automatically. So definitely check out that link in the description box if you're interested. And um, let me just show you my cookware set. Let me show you how it's holding up. Again, it's been over a year. I'm still loving all of it. Um, and you get so much with the cookware set. They actually have a lot of different things on their website though. If you are looking for something else, they have bakeware sets, which I used my um, bakeware set to make the casserole, but they have those, they have tea kettles, they have new like food storage systems, which I think is an awesome addition to their collection. I can't wait to try those. Um, so yeah, you can buy the whole set. You can buy just one pot or pan. There are so many options, something for everyone, and you will regret it. Like you will love it so much. So I have the color gray in my cookware and the cookware set does come with storage, which is incredible. And if you saw um, any of my previous videos, I've done unboxings, I've done super in-depth reviews. So if you're interested in that, I can link it down below as well. Um, this is just gonna kind of be an overview, a quick, little how my set's holding up and show you what it looks like. But if you want something more in depth, I will definitely link that down below. But you do get the storage system. So you have these magnetic clips that all clip together. There is a different um, piece for each cookware. There are four of them. There's another one in here. So you can display them beautifully in your cabinets or on your countertop. They are, apps, they are beautiful cookware, so you can definitely um, put them out and they will look beautiful anywhere. Unfortunately, in this house, when they built it, they did more drawers than cabinets. So as you can see back here is all drawers. I actually don't have any cabinets that do not have like pullouts in them, so I can't use these beautiful displays. But the cookware still stacks really nice. So I'm able to put this entire stack in that middle drawer right there and that's how I store my cookware. Everything fits in that drawer right there. So if you do have small spaces, um, this is still very user friendly um, and very appropriate for small spaces as well. It does come with four lids and four pieces of cookware and then you do also have lid storage. So you're gonna have a canvas holder for your lids. Again, I don't really have anywhere to put that, so I just store all of my lids in another pull-out drawer, which has worked perfectly fine for us. So with your cookware set, like I said, you're gonna get four pieces. This one is your six and a half quart Dutch oven. And again, I've had these for well over a year, and you can see how it still looks amazing. Like, it's still in great shape, definitely top quality um, material that these are made out of. They are ceramic coated, so it's non-toxic. Um, it is non-stick. The food slides around in here. Um, that breakfast casserole that I made, I did not spray the pan at all, and when I cut a piece out, it just slid right out. When you clean these, you can almost just wipe them out. They are super easy to clean. They do not get a lot of food sticking to them, um, which is another thing that I absolutely love. You do not have to spend a lot of time cleaning your cookware. So this one also comes with it. This is a three quart saucepan, and these all have lids. This is your 10 and a half inch fry pan. This is probably one of the 
um, most used pieces. So you get that one, and then you're also going to get this um, this four and a half quart saute pan. Again, well over a year, you will have some of these um, brown spots on your pans. It's just character. It is not affecting the way that your food is cooking at all. And you can take like a magic eraser and actually get that off. Um, but as you can see, it still looks beautiful. Mine are in the shade gray. My bakeware is in the shade cream. I have the, the um, casserole out here still. So this is um, the bakeware and it is in the shade cream. I love this shade too. I almost got the cookware in this one, but this is a beautiful shade. And as you can see, I cut a piece out of the top and like the casserole is sliding in the dish. Like it is, it is sliding. It is not sticking at all. And that's how your cookware will be too. So again, definitely take advantage of their biggest sale of the year. 20% off is huge. I have that link in the description box and you guys will not regret it. I absolutely love my Caraway cookware and I know you will too. So again, a huge thanks to Caraway for sponsoring today's video. And don't forget to check out that link in the description box and get yourself some beautiful cookware or put it on your Christmas list this year. You guys, our elf came today. This is the first year that I've done the e.l.f. I got this um, little printout from Etsy. And then we had them find candy canes from their e.l.f. So I think Emmett named him Thor. I might have to get a girl e.l.f. for Collins because she kept saying Minnie. Um, but yeah, Emmett loves this. He was talking about it all morning long. That's what they did to keep them occupied while I was cooking breakfast. But how cute. If you guys have any elf on the shelf ideas, definitely comment them down below because I feel like I'm gonna run out of ideas, but this is our elf Thor. Also, if you haven't seen the last video I posted was decorating for Christmas, so that's done. Um, but now that the kids are at school and I have everything cleaned up in the kitchen, David should be home soon, but I'm gonna take advantage of this time, something I have been doing for the past almost three weeks now, I have not filmed or anything, but I have been working out nonstop. So I've been taking advantage of our workout room downstairs. And um, yeah, it's been really nice. I feel awesome. I think that's what's helping me like get up in the morning and stuff is because I actually feel good. I feel well, well rested. I did fall down the stairs <laughs> a couple of days ago. So my tailbone and um, my ankle my rotator cuff was hurting really bad but it's not as bad anymore but my tailbone is hurting so bad and my ankle feels like it is like sprained it's bad so i am gonna go down and do my workout right now i have been following um a program from mad fit and it's been awesome i really really like it so today i have to do 20 minutes of or sculpt and then I've also been doing a full hour of high paced walking on top of that so um, fast paced walking so I've been working out for about an hour and a half every day and I've been watching what I'm eating I'm watching more calories um, been doing a little intermittent fasting I've just kind of been doing a little bit of everything um, and it's it's been really nice I've really been enjoying it so what I've been doing to get my energy for my workout is using Alani. You guys have probably seen like the Alani cans. I initially had the Alani pre-workout, which I do really like. This is Breeze Berry. I might actually use this today. But then I found they have these sticks. So I have all the different flavors. I think there's another flavor somewhere, but um, they are energy sticks. And this Hawaiian shaved ice is my favorite. Um, so it gives me the energy to get down there, get it done, get a good workout in. Um, and I've been loving it. I think I'm actually going to use the pre-workout today. So I'm going to use that Breezeberry. I'm going to get changed. Um, and 
go work out. So I'll bring you guys down there with me, but don't laugh because I'm definitely gonna have to do some modified stuff for core because I can't sit back on my tailbone to do like crunches and stuff. So we'll see what we have to do, but let's go work out. All right, we're in the workout room. I don't even know if you guys have seen this room finished or not, but I absolutely love having this space down here. Being able to come down here when Collins is sleeping, I'm like squatting so that I can be in the frame. But um, being able to come down here and work out when Collins is sleeping has been amazing. Um, and then also when the kids are at school, if I have enough time between taking them and getting home, I like to do my workout then too. So since David took them this morning, I have enough time to get my workout in. So that's what we're gonna do. I go into my MadFit app. I initially started on her YouTube channel, just pulling it up on my TV, pulling up YouTube and doing some workouts here. But I loved her program, like her workouts so much that I went ahead and got the app. So I'm doing like a 28 day program on her app and I can airplay it from my phone on the app up to the TV. So that is awesome. And then when I get done with this, I'll get on the treadmill and I'll turn on like a show on Netflix or something to keep me occupied while I walk on the treadmill. So let's get started. I've got her up on TV and let's work out. <laughs> in the middle of that so I didn't get everything but that was awful um, because my tailbone hurts so bad there's a couple times that I like went back on it and I completely forgot how bad it hurt and I fell down on it oh it is so bruised <sighs> I can't do that stuff and then she had us doing some um, jumping and pressure on the ankle and my ankle is hurting so bad but I did the best I could do. Now I'm gonna try and walk. Hopefully my ankle makes it through. Yesterday I only walked for like 20 minutes and my ankle was hurting so bad that I got down. I know I need to rest it, but at the same time, like, I don't wanna get in the routine of not doing this again because I've been doing it for almost three weeks that it's like routine, so I wanna keep going. I'm just modifying as much as I can, so. Um, it's 9.51, so I'm gonna walk for an hour and then it's gonna be close to 11 and I'll have enough time to like get myself together and then I'll have to go get the kids. So let's get the walk on. All right, I'm done with my workout. I was on the treadmill for an hour. So it is 10.55. Um, I did some stretches and now I'm gonna jump in the shower super quick rinse off and then it will be time to go pick up the babies. We are back home. It is 1248 and Collins actually made it through the drive. So she's eating some mac and cheese and it's got chicken fingers, <gasps> a bar, Cheez-Its. They both had applesauces in the car. And <gasps> What's wrong? I'm trying to get my fork on a chicken finger, but I got, got it. I don't think you're trying very hard. <laughs> oh, God. Be careful, it's hot. Um, so she will eat and then she will lay down for a nap. She loves mac and cheese. Uh, I want But what the elf she likes? What else should he like? I don't know. Did you have a good day at school? Yeah. What'd you do today? Uh, there were... What? Calling out there. Did you oh. just play with your friends? 
but Aurora was not listening. Oh. What did you do in class today? Did you learn the letters? Yeah, we were doing the letter G. G. What starts with G? Girl. Girl? <laughs> yeah. My girl, girl, and she's a girl. That's true. That's because you two start with the letter G. That's true. What letter did you learn? Uh, You're learning the letter H. Uh, oh. <laughs> uh. Emmett and I came downstairs. Look at this playroom. This is so real life. It is a disaster. Emmett, is your playroom messy? Yeah, because we played with all kinds of play. And you played with all of the toys? Yeah, I yeah, mean. I, yeah, I want this toy because it keeps going sideways, sideways. Yeah. <laughs> So this is a mess that I'm going to tackle later, not right now. Their Christmas tree is at least festive. And then I don't know if I mentioned it or not, but I did end up bringing my office furniture in here. So I have my desk and um, this piece of furniture that I store all of my office stuff in. We left our little recliner in here for right now and then the kids books. This is obviously going to be decorated at some point. I can get a rug. I have a chair from our dining room table down here because I need to get a desk chair. But I can like wallpaper that um, wall and then also this one as well. And I can like hang stuff up on the bricks and I can make this cute. So that's my plan. But for now, this is just a nice little office space for me to come to. The kids are playing right next door, so it works out. I've got Kali who's napping, my water, and I made a second um, coffee. I've been drinking espresso, like latte is just making it at home. I didn't get to finish my coffee this morning. I drank like less than half of it, so I made another one. But that's the plan um, for nap time is I'm gonna sit down here, work on editing. I do have some emails I need to um, respond to, send out a couple of documents, and Emma is gonna play. And then once nap time's over, we'll work on cleaning up this disaster. I usually clean it up every night. Um, I don't know if they did this this morning or last night, to be honest, but it's a disaster. So I'm going to get to editing and yeah, I'll see you guys later. Oh, look at that face. Look at that face. <laughs> um, well, Collins just woke up from her nap. It's 4.08, which she went down just a little after one. So she took a good nap which was needed. It's been a while since she's taken a nap that good. I was able to get this entire video edited um, in my email sent. And this is already over 20 minutes long. So we're gonna wrap it up <laughs> and end the vlog here. David's working tonight, so we're probably about to start on dinner, have dinner, and then he'll be heading out. Um, but be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you're not already. You can go follow me on Instagram to stay up to date with us. Don't forget to check out Caraway. That link for 20% off is in the description box. Um, and it's a great deal. So definitely take advantage of it. And I will see you guys in our next video. Thanks for watching.